Hi guys, it's Candace from Don't Sleep on the Cheap, and today I'm back with another video about the best summer fragrances. So these are fragrances that hold up in warm weather and that will make you smell great and fresh, so just keep watching. So the first fragrance I wanna tell you about is Tahari French Kiss. I purchased this at a discount store for about $12.99. They also have a body mist that I see pretty frequently um, at Burlington and Ross and places like that. And I was actually really surprised by this fragrance because it smells so much like a Chanel fragrance I've smelled um, in the past. And it has a very rich sort of aquatic floral feel with a powdery refined dry down. So the notes are bergamot, pink pepper, cyclamen, passion flower, white flowers, oak wood, amber, and musk. And it's kind of a soapy, aquatic with powdery dry down feel, but it lasts a long time. And it's a very, it almost smells like a expensive French milled soap. And I really enjoy this. I wore this to Disney World. I know, always talking about Disney World because I love it. I wore this to Disney World all day long and it was fabulous. And this is also another with like zero risk of overspraying. If you're on team overspray and you overspray a lot, this is one that you really can't overspray. It doesn't really change um, the fragrance or become too cloying or choke people out. So I love this reach to Hari French Kiss. Great for warm weather, great for all day wear at Disney. Excellent buy. The next one I have to talk about is actually, I think, a limited edition line. This is Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Soul. And the Soul line, I really wasn't impressed with many of the things in the Soul line. This is one of the only one that I would pick up again if I saw it. Um, and if you've watched my other uh, fragrance fail videos, um, I spoke out about one of the fragrances in this line that was absolutely horrendous. But this one is excellent. And this is Bare Vanilla Soul. I got it for $5 on one of their sales. And as you know, Victoria's Secret with their secretive notes, it says on the back here, Sunshine Pomelo Vanilla Zest, a sunny spin on Bare Vanilla. But this is, you guys, such a great oh, summer warm weather fragrance. It smells like bare vanilla with a little bit of a sunscreen beachy vibe to it, but not overly coconut, not overly fruity, just like the vanilla you could wear anywhere, but that smells like a summery vanilla. I have also worn this to Disney. Um, I also wore it to the pool. I've worn it to the beach. It's very, very versatile. It just smells like summer in a bottle. So this is an excellent, excellent find. I would pick this up for sure if you saw this. That's Bare Vanilla Soul, Victoria's Secret. Now next we have, this is another sort of limited edition fragrance um, and, and I typically don't buy these, but this one I could not pass up. This is the Bath & Body Works Diamond of the Season from their limited edition Bridgerton collab. And you guys, oh my goodness, of the scents I'm talking about, this is probably the most oh, just refined, expensive smelling. It's sparkling peach, spring daffodil, and it says radiant jasmine. I love jasmine, I love peach. And this is such a beautifully done high-end fragrance. If there was any Bath & Body Works mist, I was gonna pay full price for it, this would be it. I thought it was one of the best they put out in a really long time. Um, again, very refined, very well blended, so refreshing. Now this is not a head turner. This isn't gonna like turn heads when you go into the room, but for the high heat, it's just, lays against the skin so sweet so refreshing so clean um it's just i just love this fragrance I, i'm gonna spray it again oh this is just a, this is a this is a must purchase for me um, i also have the lotion in this and i also got the hand sanitizer and backups for the hand sanitizer that's how much i love this fragrance that is bath and body worst diamond of the season perfect for warm weather. You can also spray this in your hair so you get a waft of it as you're going places. I mean, this was just, just the bee's knees. Get it? The bee's knees. <laughs> okay. This next one I'm gonna talk about is from Tree Hut and it's called Tropic Glow. And this was about $9.99 um, that I got at Target. They do have this as Ulta, at Ulta as well. I will caution you, this does have a fine shimmer in it. It's not crazy. Um, not crazy, but this would not be one I would spray um, on a uniform or on clothes where you want to look professional because it can get a little bit overboard and maybe give the wrong uh, impression. But this is an almondy type of fragrance and it has some golden amber, a little bit of sandalwood in it. I have the matching body scrub and the lotion for this as well and they layer together beautifully. This is a clean, beachy, summery, 
a quintessential summery fragrance. In fact, I actually smell this fragrance frequently at Typhoon Lagoon and Blizzard Beach when I'm at the water parks. I smell it like on people. So it does have like a traditional sort of slightly sunscreeny vibe, but still very, if you don't want something sweet, you don't want something um, overtly fresh. This is a great nearly gourmand reach with the almond note in it very universal um, and I love this fragrance uh, for summer again just be careful with the fine shimmer um, it does show up a lot on clothing perfect for skin I would say um, but just be careful on your clothing um, and this it may get on other things if you have it on your clothing you could see glitter kind of fall out um, all over some things but other than that excellent it smells great holds up wonderfully in the high heat excellent buy and lastly, but certainly not least, this is J Love um, by Jennifer Lopez. I just love this bottle. The cheetah print is hilarious. $9.99, I got this at a discount store. This was a blind buy for me. Oh, I love that. And this has a strong pineapple note, uh, tangerine, raspberry, pink grapefruit, so real citrusy at the top. The middle's more of like a coconut um, floral. I think the official notes are orchid, tiari flower, and water lily and then the base notes you have a sorbet vanilla white wood and musk this is a very well balanced tropical fragrance that's sweet but does not have a crazy coconut sunscreen note so if either one of those are like Ugh, for you this is a summer fragrance for you i have not worn this to work on its own i've layered it with things and done like one squirt in the front of my scrubs and found it to last all day close to the skin However, I have worn this to Disney and it does last all day. You will sort of feel it sort of fade and, and, and uh, sort of dry down um, to a lighter vanilla sort of musky fragrance. But this is a beautiful fragrance for the summer. It just feels so summer and tropically with not the over coconut. I, I love coconut and fragrances, but coconut done well. Um, and I'm still on the hunt. Sometimes coconut fragrances to me come across as very artificial smelling. Um, and almost like a chemical, but this is one that is tropical without being crazy coconut and an excellent buy and a perfect reach for warmer weather. That's it guys, thanks so much for watching um, my affordable summer fragrances or fragrances that hold up well in warm weather. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.